Yo what is going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a popular slide transition like this, in Filmora. It's super easy to make, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. And be sure to explore the Filmora Creator Hub for tons of tips, tutorials, and resources to enhance your video editing skills. You can access the Creator Hub on both PC and mobile, so don't forget to check it out. Okay, let's get into the video. Alright guys, first things first, add your clips to the timeline. Here, I've already arranged my clips like this. For this edit, I'm using a 1080 by 1440 resolution with 60 FPS, but feel free to use any resolution you prefer. Now, the first step is to change the current resolution to a bigger one. You might be wondering, why do we do this? So here's the reason. The resolution in our edit is 1080 by 1440 resolution. If we make this transition in that resolution, it becomes a bit complex. Because first, we can't see the other parts of our edit to arrange everything correctly, and second, we need to match all three layers' keyframes to get a smooth transition. This method is a bit hard and time-consuming. So, to make it easier, we need to change the current resolution to a bigger one. For this edit, I'm changing the resolution to 2600 by 1440. Alright, now we have a bigger resolution like this. Next, select your first clip and move it to the left. Then, select the second clip and move it to the right like this. After that, we need to add freeze frames to both clips, one at the beginning and one at the end. So, I added them like this. Now, your clip should appear like this. We have a blank area in the middle, so you can add a background if you want. I added this overlay as my background. Next, let's add stroke lines to both clips. First, select the layer and go to the shadows. Change the color to what you want, I chose white. Then, change the angle to 90 degrees, bring down the blur value to 0, increase the opacity to 100, and adjust the distance as needed. Repeat these steps for the other clip. Alright, after adding the stroke lines, let's add some text. You can add your name tag or whatever you want. I'm going to add my channel name. First, add a new 3D text layer and customize it like this. Next, go to the animation settings and choose the animation you like. I'm keeping it on default. Now, we need to add a glow effect to our text and need to add a mask to fix this out of border look. Select the text layer and change it to a compound clip by pressing Alt plus G. Then, go to the mask settings, select the parallel line mask and adjust it accordingly. Alright, now it looks like this. To add the glow effect, if you have Boris FX, use the BCC plus glow effect. If not, use the color blur effect as an alternative. Add this effect to the text layer and adjust the settings as needed. Alright guys now that we've completed our main part, it's time to move on to the transition. First, select all the layers and convert them into a compound clip. Next, let's roll back our project resolution to the original edit resolution. Go to the project settings and enter your edit resolution. For instance, mine is 1080 by 1440. Alright, now select the layer and adjust the scale and position like this. To create the transition, navigate to the point where you want it to start and create a keyframe for the position. Move forward a few seconds and adjust the layer's position accordingly. Next, let's fine-tune the keyframes. Open the keyframe panel, select all the keyframes, and apply the curve graph. Now, our slide transition looks like this. Additionally, you can add black bars for a more better look. If you want to add them, you can use a mask or the cinematic bar effect, but I'll use two black layers so we can adjust the keyframes for smoother movements. To use black layers, add two black layers to the timeline like this. I've also added a white layer to mark the safe area, which you can use if needed. Adjust both black layers like this.
then select both layers and create keyframes for their positions. Move to the beginning and position the top layer up and the bottom layer down. And also the end. At the end, remove the white layer. Next, adjust the keyframes. Go to the keyframe panel, select all keyframes, and apply the ease out graph. Repeat this for the other black layer. Now, it looks like this. After adding the black bars, you may notice the text gets cropped. To fix this, reduce the text scale slightly. Double-click the compound clip, select the text comp, and bring down the scale a little bit like this. And that's it. That's how you can create this popular slide transition in Filmora. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make. So now you can try it. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.